an end to these people in these that are constantly calling. So we're here in Boston, me and Clyde, and uh, we stumbled upon this uh, anti-war rally, so give you a little taste. Every day while they sit home and collect fistfuls of cash. Yes! Yes! So stand up, speak up, support peace. We can do this. We can stop these wars. Once and for all, no more killing. No more maiming, no more destruction, right. all just to suck up another dollar out of somebody's yeah. pocket. Yeah. Enough is enough. If they call for it, let them go fight it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Makes the, the uniform. Cheney makes the food. Cheney makes the money. Yes, yeah. So did you all see uh, Eric Holder talking last week? Yeah, I heard that. He, uh, apparently our government has been hearing from people who say, what is this assassination program you have? What is this drone killing, target killings, they say? Well, Eric Holder stood up there with a straight face and said, they call this assassination, but it's not assassination. It's targeted killings. Very legal. It's very legal because I say so. As the Attorney General, he said, yeah, we need to have due process, but that doesn't mean judicial process. I always thought it did. How are you supposed to... In this country, I thought you were supposed to have to be tried and convicted of a crime before you could be punished, especially killed. But they're saying, if the government puts you on their hit list, then that's just the end of it. You're going to be killed. So Anwar al-Awlaki, he was in Yemen. He was an American citizen cleric who had been critical of the war in Iraq and Afghanistan, just like we are. And the government decided he was, he was too vocal. He was a threat. So they put him on a kill list, and then his father went to the court and said, how come you have my son on a kill list? He hasn't been charged or especially convicted of any crime. You can't kill him like that. And what do you think the judge said? Kill him. Who the president puts on a kill list is a state secret. I can't get into that. That's the kind of country we live in. We say no to these wars, to this Justice Department, to indefinite detention, assassination. It's got to stop. They're all about this problem. Sometimes they don't even find out who's the first one. Where is my son? Oh, for what? Oh, for what? Please just set her on fire. Hey,